What is going on, everyone? Thank you for showing up to another Spotlight series hosted by ACK. Um, today, we have another country artist because you know I'm a country boy at heart. So today we have Brian. Brian, what is going on, man? How are you? I'm doing good. How about you? Well, not too bad. Not too bad. Just enjoying things, you know? Love to hear it. Yeah, can't complain. Um, so why don't you tell the people a little bit about yourself just so we can get an idea of who you are? All right. So, yeah. Um, as you mentioned, my name is Brian, Brian Goyette. Uh, I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, been doing music for like seriously for about like a year now. Uh, just actually moved to Nashville. So really kind of getting ready to dive into it. Awesome. That is cool. Yeah, no, I mean, I know a lot of few people down in Nashville that are definitely just trying to grind. Um, yeah, man, it's, where, it's a place to do it. <laughs> no, exactly. I mean, to go down there, you can play shows at bars and all that kind of fun stuff, you know, so it's totally, it's definitely something that's cool. And yeah. I mean, at the same time, it is hard for artists, just especially nowadays, like with the pandemic, I mean, it is starting to kind of ease up a little bit. Yeah, especially down here. I know that they've been starting to lift a lot of the restrictions. And like, I've been out, I've only been down here for a couple of weeks now. But like, even since I was last here in October, like you can tell how much different it already is. Yeah. when it comes to like the live music being played and like just the amount of people that are being able to be there. So when you are playing shows, you can showcase yourself to more and more people. So no, exactly. Definitely. And then, I mean, hopefully like the plan is I'm assuming for you too, is just like to get heard by the right people and eventually hopefully maybe something big will come out of it. You never know. Oh yeah. True. Cause I mean, I've been out, like I said, I've been out a few times and like, I'm already just having drinks, mingling with people. Like it's so easy. I don't want to say easy, but like, there are so many people down here that know people and it's just all about networking that I, it's like so far, that's what I figured out. So like, I just keep trying to get out there, get my name across, let mm -hmm. people see like my page, see what I'm doing. And hopefully like, you know, the right person comes along and that believes in you. And no, you exactly. No. And I'm big on like the networking and stuff too. Cause that's how like I work with a bunch of country artists and stuff like that and write with them and work on music. And like I said, to reach out for this and do this too is networking is huge, especially in music, just cause it's such a hard, hard industry. True. And I mean, it's, it. um, again, it is, it's, it's a who, you know, type of industry. So exactly. You you got to grind through it. No, exactly. So, I mean, I'm just going to, everyone knows I'm a basic person. I'm just going to jump right into some questions here for you. Um, so basically, how did music start for you? Like, where did it all start? Like, did were you singing at a young age or did you just like recently just start doing things? How did Brian become a singer? Like, how yeah. did you start everything? So it's uh, it's a little bit of a, of a path that I went down. Like, you know, I always loved singing and I always loved music like growing up. Um, and like, I knew that like I had a good voice. My dad is our cantor at our church choir back home. So like, you know, he would kind of give me tips and pointers, but I never really did it like in our choir or anything. I was never in choir for school, uh, never went out and performed or anything because it wasn't something that like I really envisioned myself doing. Mm -hmm. It was always just something that I was like, yeah, it's a fun hobby that I like to do. But like, you know, growing up, I was always like super into sports and all that. So I would kind of be like working out, playing sports like that was kind of like my focus. Mm -hmm. and like you know picking up the guitar when I did at I think it was like age 14 so right before my freshman year of high school like it was kind of just I'd pick it up when I was in my room bored one day and I would just kind of do my thing in there for like an hour and then I'd put it down and that was kind of the extent of what it was until about it was probably like my junior year of college mm -hmm. because then I just kind of had this urge to like put music on Instagram. So I started an Instagram page for it specifically. And, you know, I kind of just kept making my little minute long covers, putting them on there, putting them on there just for fun. Like it was like therapeutic almost. No, like, for sure. Yeah. Cause like I, loved, yeah. I, I knew I always loved it and you know, it wasn't necessarily to garner any attention or anything. It was just to do it. Cause it's fun. No, exactly. No. And I mean, yeah. I was the same way too. Like I, when I started doing music a few years ago, I mean, if I sing the windows in here, will start cracking, but <laughs> I take plenty of pride in my songwriting and beat making and all that stuff. But mm -hmm. that's definitely how like I started too. like, it was just kind of music's just always been there for me. Right. Like, just like I've always like I grew up like on country, like that's what was always playing around the house and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And 
just it's always been there and like I've always found it cool and then obviously the, like most people stuff happens in their lives and music's just there and you start writing things down and all of a sudden just things start flowing and you're like this is something like I actually enjoy and like I love doing and true it's like when you and when you are like starting to get into like your creative process and stuff it's just so fun to see stuff like m- progress and move along exactly until you finally have like a not even a finished product but something that you can expand on even further like when it just comes to writing exactly like obviously you start out at least i start out when i'm doing it, it's just me and my guitar i figure out the progression mm-hmm. figure out the lyrics and then like once you get that down and you know you can keep adding to it it just it's so exciting to know that you can no it's exactly so it's, much fun. It's, yeah no this is like so much that you can do off of it and it just is sure. cool and especially like Instagram, especially during like that, I always hate bringing up the pandemic just because it's always, it weighs everyone down. Yeah, but I mean, I mean Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, like all that stuff is just so powerful, especially nowadays. And mm-hmm. like, that's how I ended up finding you too, was like on Instagram. I don't know. It was yeah. probably, I mean, I probably followed you for at least, I don't know, it's probably been like a, a year, year and a half, probably give or take. And like just like doing the covers and stuff like it, it's cool and like even like you said like even if you just come up with like a little bit of like a verse and a chorus like you can always just like post that on there and be like what do people think because then like sometimes like that just gets your mind going a little bit too you know yeah, and hearing other people's i guess i don't know i don't try to read too much into like comments and stuff like i appreciate people commenting and all that but it's like just seeing the reactions to stuff and like if somebody really people are really digging something you put out you can kind of expand upon it and if people aren't you can just be like maybe this is something i put on the back burner for a little bit and exactly get something else up yeah so um kind of like leading into like the next question like so like obviously you said like you kind of just like started picking it back up and enjoyed everything and it was fun for you but like did anyone inspire you like did any like parents friends like just be like dude like you should really like consider this like you're good at it or was it just something more like you like you're just like you said like you really wanted to do this yeah I it was you know I've always had the support of like my parents and my friends like everybody like I was known amongst the people I know as like a good singer but like it was just never anything that was like I said that I saw myself doing and then it was just kind of more of a it just kind of came up like and I just all of a sudden like started having like the desire to like just see where it could go even with even though like when I said I started it was more so of just um doing it for like more of like therapeutic purposes and just like for fun yeah and then like from there I mean the following kept growing I started getting reached out to by like smaller labels and people that are like in the industry asking me what I'm doing so like you know it just kind of gets your your gears turning like, huh, maybe this is something I should really pursue. Right. And then, you know, a couple years later, it was like more and more things were coming up with it and people inquiring about me. So it was just like, huh, maybe like it's time to actually do it. So then about, yeah. it was like a year ago in January is when I kind of like decided, okay, I think this is something that I'm at least going to move to nashville to try to do Hmm. who knows what will happen but i like i would kick myself every day if i had never tried no exactly do you mean like a great quote of mine that i always love is you miss 100 percent of the shots that you don't take no exactly just michael scott exactly exactly. (laughs) um no it's just i mean if you don't do it you're never gonna know and yeah. it's just cool because you are a super talented singer. And like I said, at the end of this, like I can't wait for some of the people to kind of hear a little clip of one of your songs too. Mm-hmm. Cause like you just, wh- who are you, some of your inspirations when you sing? Like when, like when you were like growing up, like I'm assuming country was probably like a big thing for you. Like that was probably what was playing a lot. I'm assuming. Uh, crazy. Actually, I didn't listen to a lot of country until I was in like high school. Really? A lot of me like growing up was more, um, I listened to a lot of like R and B, and then I also was very into like the alternative, like rock, like okay. punk rock type stuff. Yep. Um, my favorite band growing up was Yellow Card. I don't know if you've ever heard of them, but they're no, I have. Yeah, yeah, they were they were like my favorite growing up. And then when I started listening to country, it was like you know we my parents would have like the 
the mix on the radio or like they'd play like the Keith Urbans, um, yeah. some Rascal Flats. So those two are like the kind of, they were like my gateway into country. And then when I got to high school, like all the guys that I had made friends with, they were all super big country fans. So that's kind of how I really got introduced to it. Um, and then, I mean, when it comes to like my influences in the actual country genre, Rascal Flats is definitely one of them. Yep. Um, Dan and Shay, I, you know, these are just kind of people that I feel like I have a similar tone mm-hmm. to when I sing. So it's like, I definitely pick a lot more from them and like try to get like their nuances. And, and I mean, those guys, Gary Laveau and Shay Mooney are like two of the most talented singers in the industry. No, exactly. So I'm no way comparing myself to them, but um, yeah, them two and Hunter Hayes, those are like three that like I have really kind of like resonated with when it comes to just like the overall tone, like I mentioned. So they're, yeah, yeah they're, they're definitely some of my bigger influences. No, and that's cool because like I definitely like hear a lot of that, like because like from your covers and stuff, like everyone go check him out on Instagram. Um, like definitely from a lot of your covers, like I can like hear that like influence a little yeah. bit, like from Rascal Flatts, Dan and Shay, Hunter Hayes, like all that. Like, I can definitely hear that in your voice. For sure, yeah. Um, So kind of, I want to get into like a little bit of like your writing, like on how you write songs and stuff. Like, so what's your creative process like when it comes to writing a song? Like you, like, cause country's kind of at a weird point. Like they kind of like, it's like kind of more on like the verge of like newer like popish country but then like yeah. there's some artists out there that are really trying to get back to like that storytelling vibe mm-hmm. like so like what's your process when you write like how do you get a song going so a lot of the times when i'm getting started it starts with the progression and you know i just kind of associate different like obviously progressions and like tempos with a certain like theme of a song like whether it be like a more upbeat happy one i'll do like a specific progression for that um so i'll just go into one of the first songs i ever wrote this is kind of how it came about it was you know i had the idea of like a hook Mm -hmm. and then from there you know i kind of came up with the progression so um i mean putting that, putting those two together and then kind of slowly like working my way through the lyrics. I think I started with the chorus, then would go like to the verses and I would write a little bit. I usually like write a little bit of a second verse, try to finish out a bridge, switch up the final chorus. And then I I mean, it all kind of just comes together and it's all different for me. No, exactly. And a lot of people have different techniques, like when they come to writing and stuff, like I'm not a singer and I mean, my guitar skills are, I would say me, I'll give myself average at best, but like, <laughs> it's right just <laughs> like when I, when I write though, like I just, it, it's weird just cause like a lot of people have different things. Like when I write, it's just like, it just kind of comes to me. And like, I base mine a lot off of emotions and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And I just love telling stories. Like I'm a big like talker and I just love, I'm just a storyteller. Yeah. And that's like what you want to do is you want to tell that story from the beginning of the book, go chapter to chapter, and then eventually get to that ending. Yeah. And uh, uh, it's, that, it's another, definitely another one of the big things that I have when I'm writing. I really try not to force it, mm-hmm. meaning that like, you know, when something's just flowing and something's coming to me, like I'll take off with it. But if I'm sitting there for more than like 15 minutes trying to come up with like a line in a verse or something, I'll just, I'll put it aside and I won't eat. Like I will look, try to do something entirely new or I'll just kind of like take a break. Cause it's just like, I feel like when you start forcing stuff is when it starts just sounding. No, exactly. Sounding that way. It sounds forced. So no, that's no, I totally understand where you're coming from, from that. Um, so what would you say? Cause like, I mean, there's so many, like with TikTok blowing up now, I mean, cause like so many people are putting stuff oh, yeah. on TikTok and like so many people are just like using Instagram, like, cause especially nowadays, like that's just kind of like where everything's at. Like, and everyone's yeah. like, TikTok's just so huge at the moment. What would you say definitely makes you different compared to all these other artists out there? I mean, I feel like a lot of what's going on with the TikTok world and all that stuff, you know, I'm not taken away from anybody like, and I'm not skeptical. I'm not saying I'm skeptical about anybody's like drive or motives or anything, 
but like I am very much just like music's my thing I do the music to do the music I don't really do any of that other like weird I don't want to say weird but like keep up with like the the, the trends and all that no stuff exactly that's I mean because that's what like, TikTok is it's like super super yeah. trendy and yeah I totally feel you coming from that because like those are there are a lot of good people on it that actually have like because oh, yeah. like especially like TikTok's hard like to look through the videos on that is like what I like to do if people have it like their Instagram linked the Instagram's like definitely like that's like my main source of like venturing out and like checking things because I just think yeah, that's, that's like more legitimate than because everyone's just doing trends on TikTok that's all it is yeah and yeah so that's not really like I obviously do post a TikTok right. but it's basically the exact same content you'll find on my Instagram like I try I have tried to like venture into doing some of that stuff but it's just like I feel like I'm forcing it when I'm doing it and no, I exactly and it just doesn't I'm here feel for the like music, you man. I want people to listen to my music like exactly yeah, I'm not no, much I, into those trends. No, exactly. No, I totally feel that. Um, so when did you release your first song? Which um, when did that come about? Like, how was like how did that feel to finally like get like your first song like out there? It ugh, it was kind of crazy seeing everything happening with it. So, um, I actually was reached out to by a buddy of mine who I went to elementary school with, and. You know, I hadn't really talked to him in a, a good while, but he saw me post something about moving to Nashville on my Instagram and he reached out to me and he was like, hey, like long time, no talk. Like I know a, book, a buddy of mine who has his own studio and uh, we would love to like help you record some of your tracks before you move down there. So I was just kind of like, hell yeah, let's do it. So I got in the studio in January and uh like we did three of them actually mm -hmm. and my uh release that i came out with it's a three song single yeah. um and yeah i mean just kind of going in there with my just acoustic demos that i had and then layering everything up and just like seeing things come along and like hearing them being played out like how you envision it it's just like the coolest process yeah and like learning even now how to do it kind of more on my own because mm -hmm. like I got a bunch of hardware and software and stuff that I can make some more of my own stuff right. now like that it was an experience like in and of itself yeah. and I mean then just kind of seeing all the putting out my promos saying like oh I've got these songs coming out putting like the little clips and people getting so excited yeah and then finally like them actually coming out like in having like the support of everybody that follows me and all the people reposting stuff like it's it was a crazy feeling and I was yeah it, no I exactly and I mean like it. when I wrote my first song with my good friend Alexa um when we like first put that out everywhere like it was just such like because we did everything like on our own like she did everything from her end vocal wise and I did everything from my end like mixing and mastering and like producing everything up wise okay yeah and it was just so cool to like just like get it out there like to have your name on something like I'm on Spotify like it's just yeah. it's so okay like I'm on Apple Music YouTube it's like, like mind-blowing like your name is next to all these other like stars and shit like on this streaming service and it's like i would never have imagined this exactly awesome. and like even like just to say like hey alexa like put on like right like it's just it's cool because like yeah. it's like you're like that's me like that's like i i'm out there like this is it's just it's such a cool like i definitely like it was such a cool feeling to get it out there and then all the support that we were getting from that first song too mm -hmm. was just crazy like everyone's just like re like uh, if i can speak today just like re like <laughs> posting it and like everyone like just like checked it out and like it just it blew up like within like the week yeah and, and it's, it's just it's so cool because like and you have like friends and family from like all over the place too like that are like checking it out and like she has like family like over in europe and like we were like getting streams over in europe too yeah and, like, it's just that's one of the crazy. coolest things going it's on like crazy. to see your artist profile and see Exa all, like, exactly like you can go on your artist profile and see like all these things like and then like i have a good buddy of mine down in hawaii so like i was getting like streams from down in hawaii like from just all over the place it was so cool yeah it's definitely one of the yeah, it's been one of the coolest things yeah um so kind of little last question just to kind of like wrap things up before we kind of get into some music here 
is what else can we expect from you because like you said i know we have three singles out for you right now yep um where do you want to go with your music and like what's something um like just where what are your goals like where do you want to go and like what can people expect from you uh well i'm definitely working on some stuff right now by myself um you know i'm i'm still very new to it i would say Mm -hmm. I have only, I haven't really done much of the gigging stuff. I've played in front of a couple of crowds, but you know, one of my, I really kind of just want to get comfortable with getting out there, playing some consistent shows, like getting comfortable performing and being who I am on stage. And then, man, I don't, I mean, I don't plan on stopping writing or pumping music out anytime soon. So like, I've had the most fun I've had in the past year since I started writing. And dude, so, that's just awesome. Like just having fun with it is just such, it's a, what everyone needs right now, especially yeah. after the, like 2020, it's just, everyone needs like that fun excitement in their life. And if it's something you love doing, just keep doing it. Exactly. Like, and that's the thing too. I've always remind myself, it's like, you know, some stuff is going to flop, you know, you might never get to be some huge star in the industry, but you know, as long as you're having fun doing it, and you're doing it for you and not for anybody else like no exactly. I mean, that's what it's all about no exactly and that's just, it's so cool um so basically everyone we're gonna get into everyone's favorite part here is to listen to something of brian's um what? we are gonna listen to a little bit of montgomery drive um do you mind telling us a little bit about that before i play a little bit for everyone yeah so this song is about my hometown i um it's actually the name of the street that I grew up on so uh yeah I wrote this song kind of right when I was making the plans to move um about a year ago and it's really just about like you know appreciating where you're from and you know kind of realizing that sometimes you might have to move on move out and do your own thing but you know you always appreciate where you're from and like the people that helped you become who you are no, for sure. And like I said, I mean, I know two friends of mine that are down in Nashville right now. And like, so one of them is from my hometown right here in um, Burlington, Massachusetts. And then my um, another good friend of mine is from up in New Hampshire. And like, they write about like, they each have a song about that, too. It's just because it's where you grew up and you don't want to forget your roots and stuff like that. And it's just True. so cool to like write about that stuff, too, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely it's one of those songs that like, it's even still kind of tough for me to play because it's just so emotional like that and you know i i have loved every minute of where i'm from and mm -hmm. where i grew up and like i know not a lot of people maybe have that same experience but i know that i'm very blessed and fortunate to have that experience yeah. so it's you know it was just a song that i knew kind of when i started writing it was one that i was going to write mm -hmm. um and i knew that the name was going to be montgomery drive because like I just love that name for a, a song title too. No, that's yeah. such a cool song title, honestly. Yeah. It All is. right. So without further ado, let's take a little listen to this. Montgomery Drive. In 1999, God decided it was grandma's time. Mom, dad, three brothers, and me to keep the house and the family. The grandpa filled with his bare hands. I wish I could have met that man. He dug the roots of the family tree. We're about to have ourselves a little wonky. Fridays walking down that hall. Couldn't wait to go out and catch that ball. Went to state my senior year. Lost the game and shed some tears. Met some guys, became best friends. Found a girl who wrecked my world back when every heartbreak tore me down. But the lost love made me stronger now. It ain't just the town where I grew up. Just the place where I get drunk after all them high school dances. Fell in love, learned all my lessons. It's who I am that made me me. And my new memories. You can find the soundtrack of my life. 
That is such a cool song, man. Like I like, I mean, like you said about your hometown and stuff, like I can definitely feel that stuff in there. And like, I can just like picture, like if I close my eyes, I could totally just like picture all of that stuff that you're talking about. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's all like, that's as raw and real as it gets for me too. So it's, it's definitely, there's, there's a lot of emotion behind that one. Yeah, no, for sure. And everyone, please go check him out. Um, Obviously Spotify, Apple music, Apple Music, um, Amazon, wherever you stream, it should be on there. Awesome. Um, you mind just telling everyone like a little bit of like where we can find you and stuff like that? And you mind just like um, spelling out the last name and stuff like that, just so people can have an idea? Yeah. So like I said, wherever you stream music, I should be there. Uh, my name is Brian Goyette. Brian with an I, not a Y, an I. Goyette, G-O-Y-E-T-T-E. Um, and then you can find me on Instagram is where I post the majority of my content, which is Brian Goyette music, um, all one word. And then same handle on TikTok. Uh, it's, those are like the two main areas you'll find me. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, Apple, Spotify, Amazon, you name it, I should be there. Awesome, man. Um, again, thank you so much for coming on here. I appreciate the time. Um, I appreciate you having me, Andrew. Yeah, no, it was definitely cool. And like, I just, I can't wait for more people to definitely check your stuff out and hear you. And then hopefully down the road, we can definitely work on some stuff together. Yeah, that would be awesome, man. Yeah. So um, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up another Spotlight series by ACK. Thank you for tuning in. And we will be back next week with another Spotlight series artist. See y'all.